Okay, today is the third lesson in the series of tutorials I'm making for how to code for Elite Squadron. Today we're going to be using a program for the computer to find codes that you normally can't find by searching on the PSP. Now, this lesson you're going to be required to have a USB cable for the PSP, a computer, and your PSP. So what you're going to need is this program right here called PS2DIS. I will have a link in the description below to download this program and that's the first part you need for the computer. The, sec the second thing you need is a RAM dump. Now I'm gonna switch to the PSP and show you how to make a RAM dump and then uh, I'll switch back to the computer and we'll go from there. Okay so how you make a RAM dump is you open up Coder PR and go over to options and in options right here it will say dump RAM to slot 0 you click that and look the loading light will load and then once it's done it dumped the RAM so uh, all you need to do is hook up your PSP and I'll explain how to get it once we're on the computer again. Okay, so now that you know how to make a RAM dump, uh, what you're going to do is open it up on your PSP. I mean, hook your PSP up to your computer, and it will be in the Coder PR file folder. If you're using Coder PR, open up the Coder PR folder on your PSP, and then inside the Coder PR folder will be a folder called RAM dumps then you open that and the RAM dump will be inside there. Copy the RAM dump to a spot on your computer that you will know so so you can open it with PS2DIS. So the next, once the RAM dump is on your computer, open up PS2DIS, click file, open, then go to the, the folder that the RAM dumps are in, here's mine, and click on it. Now once you double click it, this is very important right here, we need to change the address from and put 88 so the address from is 0880000 now click OK and then the next thing we need to do is invoke the analyzer this thing this organizes all the different codes and puts them all together so we can find references I'll explain later what that is now, this will take a while, 10-15 minutes to load. Once this is done, I'll uh, skip to the end, and so you guys don't have to wait this long. It finished loading, so the next step is you need to hit Control G, and that brings up this. This is the label menu. It shows every single code that is labeled with a text or words. So, see if you can, you can see it says like, uh, ion cannon, etc, new user profile ID, explosives canister, uh, tractor beam, new command post, neutral flag. Now what we're looking for is commands, or stuff that looks like commands, let me show you what I mean, like up here. Except function, except function for care customization car carousel. Uh, that's a command. So is this except function? Let's just let me show one that's more obvious. Um, adds map to something that says what something does. If it says if it says something like adds a specific amount to the current total credits, we can use that. We can use this. Uh, what else? Like, we can't use stuff like this because it's not a command. It doesn't say what it's doing. It has to say, like, changes map or kills all humans or something like that. Um, let me find something. Anyway, let me go down to the kill all humans and I'll show you how to make those. Eight. I J K. 
Okay, here. Kills all attach. Kills all fires. Kill all ground turns. Go. Okay, let's do kill all humans. So you double click that. It will bring you to this. You press space bar on that so it's gray. Then you hit shift. Then F F3. It will take you to uh, the area where that code is located. So what you're going to do is press space bar so that, that spot is marked and go up. And what we're looking for, you got to memorize this value, is 27BDFFFO. That value, 27BDFFFO, is the value for all functions. Functions are uh, something that, like, functions are, like, kill all humans. It's something that, like, a command or, or, um... Or like if you uh, change if you change this 27 bdffo to this value, this disables functions. So let's say uh, um, what you call it. Let's say uh, there's a jetpack and we found the the function this like the jetpack area where it has the jetpack text right here, and then you see 27 bdffo. If you if you put 03 e o o e right there it would disable jetpack so if you put this value right here this is the disable function this is the function value right here so what we're looking for is is this when you go up you double click on that you copy the address go to the command line and you type in money sign dollar sign J, then space, then J, and then you paste the address. Now watch this. See the data? 27BDFFO. Watch what happens when I... Oh, wait. What the hell? Maybe I did it wrong. It's been a while since I've done this. Okay, so let me try J, money sign. Yeah, okay. It's J, money sign. My bad. Okay, so now... This is the value for kill all humans right here. So what you do is we take the address or the value I mean, you copy it. So now we can go uh let me go find the value for uh kill all humans. Um codes Okay, well, we can use. Now, this address is important right here because uh, this address can be used for all codes that you make for with this program because uh, uh, that's the address for all the kill all codes. And uh, it's an active hook. What that means is it. Uh, it's any command you put in it, it will always be uh, sent out in the game. So if we put, let's copy this value and paste it here. Now we have, uh, let's see if, if, if it matches up with the kill all humans code. See if we did it right. Okay. Kills all fires. Kills all humans. Okay. Let's see. The kills all humans is a seven b seven. Okay, o a two c a seven b seven. Uh, o a two c a seven b seven. There it is. That's the kill all humans code right here. Now uh, we can do the same thing with other things. We can do. Uh, let's find another code to make. Um. Triggers a map to rotation to happen immediately aborting the current one. Or it triggers a hero offer to both teams. Let's do uh, triggers a hero offer to both teams. See, it, it's, this says it's doing something. Uh, so we mark, uh, mark it by pressing space on it. Then we press shift. Then F3. Mark it again so you have your spot. And look, here's 27BD FFFO. You double click it. Copy J money sign there. This jumps to the J is jumps to the 
the the value. And most most uh, command the most of these values that are commands will, will look like this. They start off with OA or OA2 or something like that. And we can use the same address as the kill humans. I copy pasted it. If you if you want to know how to paste like this without even right clicking, it's you highlight something like this and then you click control C that's copy and control V is paste and another thing I find useful is control Z is like go back like undo it's basically undo so yeah um, let's make this a value I'll X for the value um, Now we can take the address of one of the kill humans codes, put it right here, and now this code will trigger a hero offer to both teams if you turn it on. Uh, that's basically how you make those types of codes. Okay, so now that you know how to make those types of codes, uh, let me just make sure you know um, which which uh, text commands you can use stuff uh, uh, I already said this earlier but I'm gonna go over it one more time just so you know stuff like uh, you can't do that thing for map name stuff like map rotation index out of range whatever these types of things you can't do um, Stuff that says it does something, like I said before, removes all map in rotation. You can find the value for that and put it in the address for the kill all codes. Same thing with remove map at, specifi at a specific rotation index. Remove map, removes the whatever. Um, what else? Resumes play from a pause state. You can use that. Restocks all equipment. You can use that. Restarts current map. You can use that. Um, resets all map, map attributes. Resets the player profile to save a new one. That one you can use. That one del basically deletes your your save data. I would be careful with that. Um, returns the player target's name. Um, and something like this. If it says like returns the player target's name, that means uh, it that's the display that that code right here displays the name of the person when you target them. So if I went here, press spacebar on it, then shift then F3 and went to this, and here it is right here. If I disabled this right here, this code line, by basically taking this, copying the address. Um, let me get a notepad out. Here's the address right here. And then putting the, what I explained earlier, how you disable uh, the functions. Uh, let me look for one of those already so I don't have to type it out. Um, let me see. Oh, I don't see one. I know where to get one there. See, so it's good to mark your spot. Otherwise, I wouldn't have remembered where it was. Anyway, uh, what's a good? Uh, oh, here it is. See this thing? This disables. That right there is the value I said that disables function. So if you made this right here a code, this would is the address for um where was it this right here 27 with the value 27 bd -F 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 and then put this as the value it will make it so when you lock on to people that it won't display their name uh, you'll just see nothing except a target uh, that's another type of code you can do bring up the menu Remember, you hit Control G to bring up this menu. Okay, uh, what else can we check? Uh, request to respond when a command post is selected. You can do that. You can do reselect any of these. You can do because it says it's doing something. 
uh, <coughs> restocks all equipment. Yeah, we did saw those. Um, selects a random map and adds it to the list. You can make that a function. Uh, I mean, make that a code. Uh, what else? See if you do if you do the thing what I said before about disabling the function, you won't see the text message for victory or defeat. Uh, what else? Um. Yeah, but basically that's the gist of uh, what you need. Like you can uh, anything that says sets, like uh, sets the number of flags needed to win the game. Uh, sets the number of flags, sets the result. That basically is the the option like on the menu on the game. So if you disable this, then the 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 menu for that won't work on the game. Like max players online, if you disabled the function for that, then you wouldn't be able to change the the player amount in the game up or down. So basically, uh, that's how you code with PS2DIS. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I'm looking forward to making more videos.